Hello you, welcome to Geekism. Oh my word, me, me green screen's all up, but it's darker than usual. Always your day. It's getting late for you, isn't it, boys, to be honest. Let's see if we can figure that green screen out. Uh. <laughs> Go on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's going to stay all funky green. Uh, hold on then, let's fix that. How's it going, folks? Glad you're well. Hope you're all good. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Filters. There we go. That should do it. Good stuff. Right, yeah, it is night time. Here we are. So it's a little darker. Need those key lights. I know, working on it, working on it. <laughs> um, the problem is half of my light at the moment comes from this huge spot here that's just way too big and does that and gives me headaches. And then the other half of my light comes from sunlight out of this window. <laughs> out of a, well, of a patio door, French door. Um, so my worry is that <laughs> is that when we move, I'm not gonna might not have that glass there, so yeah, hopefully we can get the, uh, the stream lights sorted pretty soon. Um, but how are we doing, folks? Who's here this afternoon? Let me know if you were here for today's afternoon stream, and uh, and let me know if it's uh, if this is your first one today. Cheers, by the way. I'm having a beer. I'm having a dead elephant. Well, it's difficult to say. Dead elephant from Railway City. It's backwards, but there you go. Cheers. Stayed awake for this. I don't know whether it was worth it. <laughs> uh, chill night tonight. First stream today. Awesome, Mackenzie. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a look, see if anyone's around, see if we've got Celeste, um, see if we've got um, maybe um, Wisp would be cool. KK's still going, we rocked out to KK already, uh, so I'm not too fussed about bothering him. Um, didn't get through much, so so I'll, go, I'll quickly go over what we did. Uh, oh, that's I'd gone in there to sell those fossils. Sorry, let me just <laughs> clear all those fossils out. I'll quickly go over what we did today because it wasn't a massive amount, really. My friend is wide awake. Oh, I'm sure you are. Yes. Welcome. 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 What do I need? I want to sell stuff. Howdy, howdy. Hi, Mango. How are you? Uh, what am I offering? Oh, lovely things. Keep that lamp just in case. Just in case I end up liking it. Okay, all done. 51,000 bells, that'll ding dang do. Hi, Bite Rogue. Okay, that's just a couple of days worth of fossils that I had uh, bringing up. Uh, I caught my first tarantula. Awesome, Alexis. Congratulations. It's tricky stuff. I hardly see them on this island now, to be honest. I think we've got that little sort of empty green space. I'm sure to get hold of. Uh, so first things first then, the museum opened. Uh, so the museum's bigger now, which is pretty cool. Looks awesome. Um, and it's now got a uh, uh, hi Rob sorry I missed that early evening this evening early morning well it's uh, yeah evening for me <laughs> hi Alison got to catch a cream uh, but back in, work, back in work this week uh, there was 5 to 1 means I probably won't be able to stay up for all of it oh no never mind frog in the tub thanks for being here technically it's the first one today is in the UK oh well yeah technically yeah Upgraded well, Museum looks fantastic, yeah. And it's opened up this uh, art wing here. Nicola joining you tonight? She's, she's on nights tonight, unfortunately. Yeah, she, she's in work. Um, she's in work until um, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So she's got another uh, 
a long time to go. 11 hours or something. <laughs> She's not long started, I guess. <laughs> um, here we go. So we've got all of this now. We've only got one piece of art in here, which is the uh, the girl with the pearl earring by Vermeer. The Wistful Painting, as far as the game calls it. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, a couple of things I've noticed. If you stand here, the uh, the camera... If, you, if, you, if you're not already, the camera will zoom up. If you stand here, the camera will zoom up. There you go. To show you all those. Um, it's pretty sweet. And there's another spot similar to the dinosaurs, similar to the fossils, where if you come and stand in the middle here, it zooms back. Excuse me, I think I've got a hair in my teeth. Caught in live. Hi, Peace and Rove. Welcome. Good evening, Johnsy. Hi, Rachel. Morning and evening. It's all the same, isn't it? You notice the painting info will give you the information on the real painting in real life too. Yeah, we just yeah, I noticed that afterwards, yeah. Whereas when you buy them, it only gives you whatever they call them, wistful or whatever. Um I'll show you videos. Hi Tamara, welcome. I love that little feature. I do as well. I think that's really cool when we get some uh, models. Now I'm assuming uh probably doesn't even tell you, but what we've got one of these going in tomorrow. We bought a Venus to Milo. And I'm pretty sure it's not fake. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have a Venus de Milo going in there tomorrow, which will be pretty sweet. Hi, Jamie. And does anyone know if sculptures can be fake? I believe they can, yeah. I believe they can. I think somebody mentioned the Venus de Milo has arms. <laughs> if it's a fake one, which I think is a pretty awesome fake. Sorry the green screen looks so uh, so bad. That's, um... Oh, I know what I can do to fix it. Just give me one sec. I just think of what I can do to fix it. Should be a little better. Oh now, I, now I'm blowing myself out again. Hold on. Go back to what it was. To manage with that, I think I've got a little bit of a chin clearing off, but I don't think with even that on, I think it's not going to help. Oh, there we go. That's about right. Oh, bought a sculpture thinking it was furniture. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is it in Venus de Milo doing this? <laughs> so excited for the fake art, to be honest. Uh, are we able to put it in our homes? Red gave me a Van Gogh Starry Nights as my first one. I hope fake comes back around for me. Uh, yeah, you can buy the fakes and do what you like with them. They're just regular furniture. The only thing is is that um, uh, he won't take them. Uh, Lado won't um, won't take them. But apart from that, yeah, it's all good. Uh, right, what else did we do then? So we did our painting and then we came... Oh, and then we did our amiibo cards, of course. We had... Um, We've got some amiibo cards. They they weren't. Oh, the sky's clear. I hope we're gonna get some stars. That'd be cool if we do. Um, they weren't great to be honest. We didn't have a fantastic uh, selection. I'll quickly go over them for you if you want. Um, we had Carmen, who's a little sort of plain bunny. Our special one was Isabel. She's pretty sweet, but obviously you can't use her to get a village. Um, Teddy. With a invisible belly, Teddy. Uh, Bud is not so bad. Bud, we might have Bud. I don't know. Uh, Tipper the cow. Well, we've already got Norma. We don't need for Tipper. And um, and then finally we have uh, Camo, Camo Frog, who you can see in front of you right here. And I'm quite happy with Camo Frog. He's not. He wouldn't be my first choice, but he'll go in the swamp and do pretty well there, I think. So. Um, Don't live here. Oh, interesting that idea ain't half bad, but I don't know if I can make up my mind just yet. I got it. Invite him to camp again. So you have to invite him three times. He made me make this raccoon thing for him, which I kind of hate. Uh, but you know, that's this is these are the things you have to do. Creative yet uncreative name. I know, right? <laughs> it looks pretty good though. <laughs> um, 
Any tips on getting my island looking better? I, but it's, it all depends on like, uh, it all depends on the kind of thing you're interested in, right? Because I've seen a few people who like a really neat, almost like symmetrical design, and I don't. I, I like a quite a natural look to my island. So we've got a lot of like, even like weeds and stuff around. And I think that personally makes a really sort of nice aesthetic, like the, the paths being broken up like this, you know? Um, literally just camo frog yeah <laughs> hi i'm new welcome preston um so yeah that that's the kind of thing that that, that that looks good for me but again it's you know it's personal taste but if you are going for that natural look make sure you don't get uh much repetition uh repetition is a real big problem so even if even things like these two flowers next to each other here I'll, I'll probably move those when we come to do this area a bit you know so uh so yeah so today what I thought we could um, uh, have a look at doing is changing up the spar a little bit. I've been talking about doing this for a little while now. Uh, subscribe as well. Thanks, Preston. Good to have you here. Um, I've been talking about doing changing the spar up for a while now because I'm not happy with the excessive use of, uh, of custom uh, flooring. I was really hoping we'd see some shooting stars. It's a perfect night for them. And you do get the the occasional random ones. I still haven't had a meteor store yet. Meteor shower, even. Mm -hmm. It's a nice stream. Welcome, Mr. Okay, awesome. I've had the most stupid day. It's like the neighbors were drunk in the street and music blaring. Ugh. One of them had their kids in the house. A quiet medieval town. This is bizarre. It's just people going loopy being stuck in, isn't it? Sorry to hear you had a crap night with them, though. Come on, stars. Perfect weather. Boo hiss. Okay. Uh, right, yeah, so we're looking at doing the... Uh, Media show is quite stressful to be honest because I feel under pressure to keep pressing A for hours and end up with 30 star fragments. Yeah, I think it's the sort of thing I would I would give myself a time limit and say, right, I'm just going to stand here for 10 minutes and just get myself some star fragments, you know? Please have to come. Ouch. Let's catch any stars. I've had a handful, but really not, not loads. So yeah, so this area, I'm just not happy with it. I, I like the I like the furniture we've got, but there's too much of it. I want to get some water in here, and I want to get rid of the custom flooring. That, that's kind of how I feel about this. So we're going to clear all of this out. Right. We'll clear all of this out. I'm basically going to start start over again, but not a complete redo. Just a. Uh, Happy to come to another one. Hi, Brittany. Um, just coming to another one, uh, another uh, concept, really. Just tweaks, really. Can Isabel say something when um, there's going to be shooting? Yes, apparently so. She'll say on the morning that there's going to be shooting stars on the night time. Yeah. Didn't look so different to the default. Well, they, well, some of them don't, but they, it's the it's the lack of um, definition that really bothers me with them. Like, if you look at the beautiful grain on the wood there, and then compare it to our wood, it's like, the more I look at it, the more I hate it. And I don't mind using some, like, to, accom like, to accompany things. Like, here in the swamp, I think this wood is quite acceptable. I think this wood looks pretty good. It's on the dirt. It's used, like, relatively sparingly, you know? So, yeah, I think, I think that's okay. And that's probably what I'm going to go and do here. Um, uh, Norma, I don't think I spoke to you today. Nice night out. It's a lovely night out, Norma. How's it going? Nice to see a smile. Having fun? Hoo hoo. Yeah, I'm having fun. Um, some are great, but even still, like the really nice detailed ones are still way off what I what I want them to be. Really. Now I do quite like the waterfall here, and like I say, I kind of like the idea of having water as part of the build because it would be nice to get another pond in here as well. So what I think I'm going to do is is turn these outside three layers. In this my dog scratching itself. Um, how did you make those waterfalls? So they're basically just the, um, the water tool 
in here the waterscaping permit and we just uh, we just dig out what we need so what I'm actually going to do is, pro is all around here so from this point to this point no there we're gonna make water right we're gonna have like a ring of water with maybe a, a path in the middle here so we can leave something open there um, in fact let's try something I saw that looked pretty good let's try leaving it to there okay. um, and then this middle bit here is gonna be our little little spa <laughs> I never knew there's a water tool. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. You can go and you can buy it from um, from the Nux Miles machine. Yeah. To do your own water. Yeah. And you can do things like this <laughs> if you've got too much time. You can do things like that with it. These waterfalls here. Really happy with how they turned out. A waterfall lagoon for Flora Aflamingo. Okay. Right. Let's jump up here. Uh, a few minutes later, what's the plan for tonight's stream? So excited to have two in a day. Woo! Uh, we're having a redo of the. Um, of this. What's it called? Uh, what the hell's it called? Spa. I'm going to redo the spa to get rid of. The cliff will collapse. No, it won't. Do this. Um, Alright, let's, let's jump down. Love those waterfalls back on. I'm really happy that it turned out. I think it's probably the best thing I've done. Oh, the farm. I'm really happy that the farms turned out as well. And the swamps turned out really well. The three main areas that we've really focused on since since sort of deciding on this uh, on this fantasy feel. I actually think we've done really well. Oh, that's what I went up there to do, sorry, is to fill in those smaller bits of water. Because we don't want them. What's two in the morning? So I'm laying in bed with my daughter, a Labrador, and a cat. Oh my words, are they asleep? Uh, I can never remember where it's plus, isn't it? I remember where these tools are. I always forget. There we go. Question: How many villages do you need for Isabel to be able to tell me a more accurate reading? I I think ten. Oh no, seven. When can we come to your island? We don't we don't do island visits on stream, sorry. It takes up too much time to get people in and out. You end up just streaming loading streams. Uh, okay. They're all asleep. Oh, okay. Stuck in a swamp until he gets kicked out. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's not a problem, Preston. If, if you're new here, it's all good. It's just... The problem is, is when people arrive on the video, uh, when people arrive on the on the streams, it, it takes like two minutes to get somebody in, and then, like, there's a there's, this is a quiet stream and there's 160 people watching, you know, so they all try and pile in, and it just means you're looking at loading screens all stream, and it's just it's not fun, so we don't do it. I do open the stream up for um, Discord members to come and visit. Um, so, but we do it. We do it off stream. Well, like last night, for instance, the island was open all night. Yes, we had a good. We had a good time. Okay. As awkward as it is, I tempted to take this all back one. Because one, I think it'd be quite handy to be able to nip through there <laughs> that we know that we haven't been able to do. If I just do that, and then we can nip through the back there. Um, obviously, we need to get rid of that one. I know we wouldn't be able to cover it, would we? If we if we pushed it all back, but that's okay. Let's go to cliff construction. We'll push it all back one, I think, because then we get a nicer look of the river uh, of this new water we're building. And I suppose we might even be able to have it. Uh, what we also John? We're basically uh, good evening. How's it going? We're basically redoing the spa area because I'm still not happy with it, and I'm just going to keep trying ideas until it looks right. Basically, I think we could probably open the, the water up backwards there. Okay. Okay, 
willing, willing, willing to try that, and we're going to use in-game path as well. Double-sided one for one into river. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you're ahead of me. <laughs> you're ahead of me, Rob. Uh, we need to look into red as I was able to purchase something you didn't want earlier. Might be ahead with fill the museum quickly, like we did with fossils. Oh. But you bought a fake. <laughs> because they, they were all fake, weren't they? The ones we checked. Stepping stones and things, I think they really do help, yeah. What what is that chewing noise? Because I haven't given you a treat, hold on. Okay, that's fine. Good girl. Yeah, for my house. Oh, well, if you just want stuff for yourself, that's fine. But you're not going to actually get the museum filled up any quicker than are you? Unless he has more than one real one a day, I guess. Japanese, I love Japanese keytas. They're gorgeous dogs. Yeah, if he's got more than one real one a day, then that you can take the pick of one you want, and then you can let people know. Look, I think he's got another real one here, but like, I mean, you know, not to me, kind of thing. You want the easiest dogs? I've got a pair of greyhounds. They nap more than my cats do. Rarely naughty because they rarely eat more than comatose. Is that does it just have like that higher, high um, uh, what's the word? Um, oh, what's the word? Like how quickly your body burns energy? I can't think what the word is. I'm trying to think of metabolism. Like there's really such a high metabolism that they just constantly burn themselves out. <laughs> Go to bed, John T. It's like it's ten to nine. Wait, like what time do you what time do you go to bed? <laughs> my my um my dad's family always kept um greyhounds if I remember rightly. I've got very vague memories of that when I was a kid. So I haven't got Leaf, but Tom Locke has given me hedges for doing a nature quest. That's right, yeah. So Leaf isn't like part of the Earth Day stuff. Like he was bought in with the Earth Day stuff. Oh I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanna do here. Because I bet we're not going to be able to take that square away. I didn't realise it'd be these ones as well. That doesn't make it a pond either. Right. Okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. It said late night. I assume this was late for you. Well, I mean, we'll be going to late night, I guess. It, and late night as opposed to the usual time of 1pm <laughs> in the afternoon. People weren't following the arrows. I know, I, I told, I went to the supermarket, so I went to the grocery store and told three people to move, basically. I had to tell three three people to like, look, you need to walk this way around the store. Because they were walking the wrong way on these arrows. Idiots, morons. Do you have any ideas for iron design? Well, I'm yeah, I'm doing one of them now, you see, so. Oh, come on, I can't do that square there. Even John, hey Celine. It's take longer to collect. Uh, just means it will take longer to collect different bushes. Yeah, yeah. He, so basically, what was I saying before I got cut off? Sorry. Um, yeah, Leaf isn't part of Earth Day. He shows up with Earth Day because it kind of makes sense. But he's just a regular rotation now, so he's going to be showing up uh, alongside Kicks um, uh, label, you know. Uh, our country is mandated wearing masks outside your house now. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they haven't uh, they haven't done that here yet. Here in the UK, everyone spaces out in queue outside. It's inside just like normal. No one follows the one racist in the air. Just idiots, aren't they? They they stay they stay in the queue outside because they feel like they are being watched. I think. We're redoing the spa, by the way, for those of you wondering what's going on. 
wasn't happy with how the spa had turned out. Still, I don't think I am with this, if I'm totally honest with you. But we'll see. I know what I was always going for originally. It's gotta be pond water though. We need ponds to we need animals to we need fish to spawn in here as a pond. We've got so many rivers. May 4th, I think. Wow, really? Was it the, was it the Texan governor today who had to apologize for going and getting the nails done? Was that Texas? It would look really good for Steam. Yeah, that would be really cool. Fish from little boats. That would be neat. Is any cushions any good to you? I, I've got some. I can't, th can't think where I would use them, to be honest. Thanks. Pretty good for stuff, to be honest. People keep sending me lots of stuff, but I've got all the stuff I could need at the minute, I think. Covering my site has become a meme for being dumb. Solid. That's what we like. Okay, change them this side and that side. Doesn't seem like the kind of dude. Where was it then? There was somebody, and I, I got Texas in my head. Some other sort of like Midwest uh, place then, I guess. Turkish bath again. It's just it's just getting the style to work. Like at the moment. Everything we try just isn't quite looking right. Uh, I think we do. We are waiting on an Iron Army. Yeah, there's no major major push. Yeah, I saw that the Las Vegas one for the control group. No, that's that's ridiculous. I mean, that's not even funny. That's just reckless. No, if somebody had come up before, governors had to apologise for breaking social distancing and going to get their nails done. <laughs> They started moving. I know, Jordan, I've got some. I didn't like them. That's why I said you could have them. <laughs> you don't, yeah, like, <laughs> that's why I said have them, because I didn't want them. <laughs> I feel sorry for our neighbours saying, I know everyone's frustrated, but I think things being closed is for the best at the moment. Here in Canada, we're a little later to get the virus. Uh, actually, we aren't. We, um, the first case in Canada was actually before the first case in the US. We just handled it a bit better um but i mean the, the next thing is yeah this doesn't look right does it oh, this is way too small now the next thing is is like where, where do we go next because we can't we can't stay shut down like this for a, a year you know the, the amount of uh like the, the country going to a halt but you know it's not we're not going to be having a vaccine for a year at least if we get one waterfall makes it count as a river anyway yeah i think you're right I'm just not happy with it at all. I might just knock the whole spa thing on the head, to be honest. It just isn't. The vision is we haven't got a vision. I think that's the problem. I just cannot get my head into into a good rhythm with it. I just, it just I, whatever I'm doing just doesn't look right. No, I'm, I'm scrapping it. I'm walking away. I can't. I can't think of what I want to do. We'll try something else. Uh, another thing I do want to start doing is working on the lantern walk. Um, put the spa stuff around it. Yeah. Have you ever been to a spa? I mean, not like not like a Roman one. <laughs> Like I'm thinking. So we have these three lanterns. I know there's not many, but these all these three lights look like proper sort of like glow lanterns, you know. Um, and I really am hoping we can uh, we can get a few more of these as time goes on. Um, 
Oh, Beaumont Mayor. There we go. Sorry, I thought it was the governor. Sorry. Beaumont Mayor had to apologise in Texas because she went and got her nails done. Uh, Pinewood Hills isn't coming back. Um, maybe go to the spa with fresh eyes. Yes, I think that's what we need to do, yeah. I have a small hospital, a lovely radiographer guy who did my last scan called Simon. Just died of the virus. People act like it's real. I know, it's just insane, right? Um... East there, east of you, yeah. Well, there you go. There, there, mayor went and got. I have a wooden lantern. I, I don't, I don't think there's any others in the game that fit the look I'm going for right now, Jamie. Thank you though. Um, no mods, no, unfortunately not. No mods. They're all, they're all UK mods, and they all are tucked up in bed. <laughs> um, so all I want to do here really is take a nice sort of dirt path up, and I mean, you probably can come to here. What I would like to do is is make this area here a smaller space and a pond behind it as well. So we've got two ponds then at least. Um, so that that's kind of the idea. Trump told people to ingest Lysol and a bunch of people listened. I, he didn't say ingest anything actually. I, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not like sticking up for the guy. He's a moron. But I think it's very important with this that what he actually said was so ridiculous that we don't have to boil it down to, oh, you said drink bleach or whatever. Because the second you make it something like that, like mentioning Lysol or something, which he didn't, the second you da do that, instantly the argument back is, that's not what he said, which is a very valid argument. Actually looking at what he said and using that, he said that maybe there was something to do with ingesting disinfect. Uh, in, sorry, maybe there's something to do with injecting disinfectants. Maybe that's something our doctors can look into. Is basically the crux of what he said. That's still f mental, right? But I think it's very important that we're that we're the only thing we have against that guy are facts right the truth is what far worse than what people are trying to say exactly the fact that he stood there and said oh my doctors have said that they're looking into my idea of injecting disinfectants or putting uv radiation into people bearing in mind that uv is split into three parts uv a b and c and it's uv c is what they use to kill uh, germs and uv c would it kills anything biological basically that that's why they use it yeah, it's the, 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 like it would kill it would kill everything on you and you. Yeah, so yeah, so it's, I think it's very important that we, if it works on a bench, it works on your body. Yeah, I think it's very important that we are specific about what he actually said. Um, if people took it and started taking it, then that you know that's obviously a problem. But I've seen a lot of memes that are like, oh, you know like like a bottle of bleach with a cocktail straw in it and stuff and i'm like no no let's be specific about what he said because what he said was bad enough we don't need to meme we don't need to memeify it yeah but you know Ugh. apparently it was sarcasm right moron um, you know doing computer games in american politics we talk about anything paul you can feel free to type in the chat if you've got something to say to the class, <laughs> friend of mine watching the stream and texting me. <laughs> uh, anyone have CJ Flick? No, I've got nobody. Uh, he is the meme. Yes, exactly. Hello, class. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Paul. I don't think we've got anyone on the island tonight. It's a bit poo, actually. I was hoping we'd get Wisp or ID. I mean, Celeste would have been perfect tonight. I'm just going to have a little once around and check. I mean, I'd, I'd be really unfortunate if she sat up here on a Todd. But, I might as well pick up these shells. Oh, no, 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 I won't. <laughs> there we go. I saw the boat. Yeah, we did We did the boat today, though. He's he's just hanging around. Um, I haven't had CJ and Flick in a while. We had Flick a couple of days ago, I think. Like two days ago. So today we had KK. Of course, kind of hate that KK takes up Saturdays because it isn't really something that interests me. I suppose it gets you a new song each week, but if you can be bothered to go and look at for a song that you're missing. <laughs> Daisy May. Oh, you're on Sunday, of course. Yeah, see, we're still Saturday here, so 
tempted. I'm wondering whether or not to bother with turnips this week, to be honest. Like we've got we've got a few million in the bank. No real need for it. The only thing I'd be getting like mega cash for now is if somebody wanted uh, if I, excuse me, if I wanted to buy a character or somebody wanted, I wanted to buy a villager that was moving out or something, but Still seems like a lot of work that, doesn't it? Um, I haven't got red yet. I've spoken to Blathers and everything. Did I do something wrong? Should, so the, if you spoke to Blathers and he's mentioned the possibility of uh, of um, of getting artwork, then red should show up the next day. I don't know who's that fishing. Deidre, a hoax. I specifically heard him say it. Heard him say what? Sorry. I think we've moved on a bit, but go ahead. Two folks on a assistive living place where my parents are took it upon themselves to ingest something because somebody, something in a similar name was being looked at into. Oh man. They're awful. I absolutely love the music. I love the nighttime music, right? Yeah. The nighttime. There's a different song every hour. But like the nine and ten one is hot. Um, what's your favorite game you've played in the last year? I, I this, this. I I immediately went to say Planet Zoo because I felt like I should. But no, I'm enjoying this ten times more than I enjoyed Planet Zoo. Nothing at all. I don't know why Isabel hasn't. How weird. I don't know tomorrow. Really don't know. Have you had a better house yet? No, I don't think we, we're not going to hear anything over the weekend. So, hopefully Monday. It's, yeah, part of me says it's not looking good, but then part of me thinks if they if they got our details for this long, like it is good. I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll let you know when I hear something. Don't worry. <laughs> I love the sound you make when Blaz wakes it up where he goes. Whoo! <laughs> There's a different song every hour. Yeah, I mean they're they're all sort of variations on a theme. Oh, we did this as well, by the way, today, in the daytime. We did a we did a uh, little mar farmers market. Uh, yeah, they're all sort of variations on a theme, but um, but they're all sort of uh, yeah on a, on an hour different. Uh, you're moving. Yeah, we're hopefully moving into a house. Uh, we're currently in a in a two bed apartment, and we're hopefully moving to a three bed house so I can get an office. <laughs> Not be stuck in the living room. Um, town hall for yes, you do need. Sorry, you do need town hall. Cool watermelon. I know, right? It's a beach ball. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Right, come on then. Let's go and uh, let's go and start messing around with this bit at the top here. Oh no, not that way. Uh, I know Planet Zoo brought people to your channel, but I feel like there's a lot of hype and then it grew a little tedious. We're all enjoying you watching play card. Well, thank you, Jenna. Um, not everyone is enjoying me playing Animal Crossing at all. I'm getting some very, very vocal uh, uh, feedback about Animal Crossing. But um, have you played League Dangerous? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I didn't like it. It wasn't. Well, not that it just wasn't. It's not my kind of game. I, I played it once thinking I should probably try the the other game from Frontier, you know. But uh, but yeah, wasn't wasn't loving it to be honest. See, the big problem is I really we're, we're using this area at the moment for farming uh, farming mums, right? So, um, we need to see if I'm going to buy this game or not because I have sixty euros at the end of the month, but I also want money for Cyberpunk, Watch Dogs, and Hollow Knight. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk if it sort of makes it here. Eventually, look trying to do content. Can't you dragon book with your channel? Uh, yours is by far my favorite of all creators, but I get why you went out on it. And I adore I say, Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, some people are going to be like perfect mix of the two, right? And I think there's going to be, I thought there'd be way more crossover if I'm going to be totally honest with you, especially from like Planet Zoo, because there's this is this is basically cute animals and creative play. Now, it's not as like creatively free as Planet Zoo, but the very few games are, you know. I can't think of another game really that has the sort of full movement of, of the sort of x-axis of Planet Zoo, you know. So So yeah. Yeah, 
if space is hard for me. I know, right? It's it's a real problem I'm having at the moment. Like, I'm wanting to flower breed, but also wanting to actually make the place look nice. To be honest with you, I think once we've got some green mums, I, I think I'm probably done with, with, like, pushing for flower breeds like this. So what I'm thinking is we keep that, and then kind of like what we've done with the two ponds down in the swamp. Um... I think I think that's the idea we're, we're trying to do there. I don't think it's anything like Planet Zoo. This, well, like I say, I mean, the, there is enough crossover there to, to warrant mentioning. I think it's the, it's cute animals and it's basically a creative sandbox, right? It, it, but I mean, it is like I say, it's it's very different systems. But I just thought there'd be a bit more crossover. That's all. Uh, I found you from your two-point Haswell content. I watched a couple of other things between then and now, but Animal Crossing has really brought back to your channel regularly since then. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, uh, two-point was great. Love two-point. I got a little burnt out with the DLCs, to be honest. I, I kind of felt they were a little bit samey. Um, a, a little bit the same as the problem with the Planet Zoo DLCs, really. It was like, here's more of the same stuff that we do, you know. Uh, I'm going to have to put all the spa stuff into storage for a minute because we've got no place to pick up flowers. Did you catch a coelacanth? Yeah, we've, we've caught everything we can possibly catch at the moment. Also, who's been negative about say I'll send them a strongly worded letter and then apologise because I'm Canadian. Yeah, no, just lots of comments, lots of um, private messages. Uh, yeah, enjoy Foundation 2. Yeah, cute city builder. It really was, actually. Okay, let's throw some of this stuff away then for a minute. Uh, the DLCs were, yeah, this game isn't my jam. I enjoy Johnny's playing it. Thanks, Mast. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying that like all Planet Zoo creators should suddenly start playing Animal Crossing. I was just amazed that nobody, not a single person on my subscription list, like all the people I subscribe to, mostly Planet Zoo players or Planet Coaster players, I can't believe not a single one of them covered it. I, I was expecting to be able to sit down and watch like a, a good few people who I knew play Planet Coaster. I've actually gone and fi found new people to play it. Um, like I said, I was I was enjoying Austin John plays. His mother passed away, unfortunately, so he's been he's been out of action for a little while. I think it's probably the Switch thing. To be fair, I, I mentioned it on Twitter, and loads of people kind of. Um, Loads of people sort of commented in with their reasons, and they're all very valid reasons. The fact that it's on Switch is one, and not only is it on Switch, you need like some sort of capture card to play to play it properly, you know, on YouTube or whatever as well. Um, the limitations of the game, but I actually really quite like the limitations, although I would like a 45 degree angle for stuff. Um, uh, you know, I actually quite enjoy playing um, with limitations. I think it makes it fun. I still have some relaxing. Uh, entertaining content. It really does, yeah. I hope he um I hope he manages okay with this um with the passing of his mom and manages to get back to uh some content. I got so bored watching Planet Zoo videos. I just I felt like there wasn't that much variation in Planet Zoo. That was the the only real problem I had with it was that I just felt like we were all making the same videos after a little while and it got it just got a little frustrating. And I, there are still people now who who make the same five videos on a loop because it's the only thing that gets views for their channel. You know. Sims YouTubers, have, yeah. See, Sims is another one. I, 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 that makes sense that Sims players are playing Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. I did it again. Look, I saw AC and said Assassin's Creed. I know. I know. I'm. I know it's Animal Crossing. I don't know why I keep say, trying to say Animal <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Uh, oh no, I don't want that to enough. Please, thank you. The orbit done with Zoom. For now, Mast, yeah. I was really hoping the South African, uh, South American pack sort of uh, gave me a, a lease of life, but it, it didn't. Yeah. Kick the PJs, a YouTuber but streams the game on Twitch. He's an amazing storyteller and makes you love all his characters. Oh, cool. I'll check him out. I'm always looking for uh, for new people to watch. I've been enjoying on Twitch uh, Burgability, B E R G Ability. Um, he's uh, just a Twitch streamer, but fun. Um, pretty engaging. He's been building some nice stuff. Says like when I pushed the content out and made one habitat for each animal, sat back and then said, now what? Yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it, really? I think the model of 
like four or five things. I'm missing. I'm missing. Uh, I'm missing shooting stars here. I can. I can hear them, and I'm missing them. Um, I'm just going to shoot stars for a minute, if that's okay, folks. Um, so, what was I going to say? Yes, I think the model of like four or five set pieces and for, and then um, scenery worked really well for Planet Coaster to give us like four or five rides, two or three coasters and some flat rides, and then scenery worked really well for content on YouTube because... Like, you got an episode out of building the coaster, you got an episode out of theming it, you got an episode out of, like, tying it into the park, you know? Whereas with Planet Zoo, it was like, oh, Jaguars, okay, here's a Jaguar thing. Um, uh, Anteaters, okay, here's an Anteater thing. And also, I mean, I really enjoyed your stuff, Mast, actually, because you tried to do something a little bit different with the llamas. You did the whole llama farm, which I thought was really good and really novel. But the the big problem with the with the both DLC packs we've had now... Uh, the animals are all um, quadrupedic uh, mammals for the most part, and they need a, a amount of space with some grass, some dirt, some rocks, and some water. You know, and there's only so many. For me, anyway, there's only so many combinations of a bit of grass, a bit of rock, a bit of dirt, a bit of water that I can do and still keep interested in. You know, and especially when you're doing. Uh, like more like realistic builds like we do as well it's not even like you can do crazy themed buildings around them like the sort of stuff that uh, planet zoo showed off in their in their um scenarios you know like that crazy indian temple build and and all that sort of stuff you know it's like i i'm never going to build that kind of thing because that's not what i enjoy building so you know, it's like the, the, I can only build this. Like all, all the habitats are, you know, all the all the viewing areas are sort of nice curved things with glass, and there's any, you know what I mean? There's very little variation there, I think, as well. So, yeah, is that your dog or one of your? Yeah, sorry, it's my dog with a bone. <laughs> Two hundred is the next one of those. Jesus, aviary or query. See if they if they'd have bought out larger aviary or aquarium packs, I think I'd still be playing it now daily, honestly. Did I get it? Yeah. Play more watching. Thanks for streaming. Hey, no worries, K um, Kazzy. Welcome. I would try to play at Zoo if they had aquarium type animals, whales and dolphins and sharks. Yeah. Finally, I watch. just woke up. Hey, um, good morning. I enjoy watching PZ much more than playing. I bought the game, played it once, and got too frustrated with the pathing system. Well, yeah, that's a tale as old as time, that one. There are games that I prefer watch Like, I really enjoy watching City Skylines. I, I can't play it. Zoo Tycoon was made by the same company. They had quite a camel in. I don't see why they aren't playing, play, uh, aren't in Planet Zoo now. I, uh, Zoo Tycoon oh, on the Xbox was, was Frontier, yeah. Um, I, I think the reason they aren't in Planet Zoo is a limitation of the um, limitation of the menu. I like to think I can play Skylines, and then I, yes, I'm exactly the same. The amount of time me and Master both got multiple City Skylines series of about four episodes <laughs> on our channels. If you don't know Mass Bandit, by the way, folks, he's a really great uh, YouTube content creator. Doesn't play Animal Crossing, unfortunately, but um, but but plays a very similar style of game to me. Uh, and plays it in a very similar way to me. Uh, aims for realism and and um, um, not necessarily realism in all in all the things he does, but conscious design efforts in his builds, which is the same as how I sort of consider myself. So well worth looking looking up. Mass Bandit is right there in the chat. Look, uh, I love small mammals in Planet Zoo, uh, Aardvarks. Yeah, well we we have both of those. Yeah, but it's more of those. Yeah. Yeah, would be would be good, but again, it's it, again, it's just more of the same. I feel I feel like the best thing they could do now is bring out fish or birds. Honestly, does the instant gaming site work here in Canada? Uh, Brian, have a look, and um, it'll say at the top like whether the codes for NA or Europe, and the NA ones have always worked for me here in Canada. Yeah, uh, no worries, buddy. I used to try and traffic junctions for a living, so traffic in cities comes easy to me. Nice. <laughs> I'm a lover, by the way. That's the first thing you've said in chat. Oh, no, you said hello to Mass Bandit before as well. 
Go back to the OG Zoo Tycoon and let the animals eat visitors. Yeah, I really enjoyed the. We played Zoo Tycoon one and two on the way on the lead up to Planet Zoo, uh, and really, I really enjoyed, especially number one. Yeah, the Xbox One one wasn't great. The the Zoo Tycoon one wasn't great. It was re yeah, we had a right laugh, didn't we? It was good. The original one. What's going on? Just got here. I was just doing a few stars. It looks like they've calmed down again. We we had a few shooting stars, uh, but now I'm working on a, uh, on a on a pond of sorts. Don't they don't make them by themselves? I think that's exactly how they'll do them. If they, if we ever get a quick, if we ever get fish, they'll be in boxes like reptiles are. Like that, that's how it. I tell you now, that's I'd be gobsmacked, absolutely shook if it works any other way. OG, OG RCT and RCT two still hold up, absolutely hold up. Sounds weird out there. No, not at all. I I have uh, YouTubers I put on in the background. I, I, James isn't one of them because he can go a bit crazy sometimes, and I want somebody who's quiet. Um, there's a guy on Twitch called KRX. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Literally just the letters KRX, and plays a lot of cities. And there's been playing a little bit of Animal Crossing. He played a bit of Planet Zoo as well. Um, he's got the greatest voice to fall asleep to, honestly. Put him on at Twitch, and I usually have to do a VOD because he's normally he's normally finished before I get to bed. But yeah, um, he's got the best falling asleep to voice. <laughs> Follow the channel for the last few years now. Thank you so much for all your hard work on your content. It's rare nowadays to find a genuine person on YouTube like you. Thank you, Brian. I I, I wouldn't say I'm the most genuine. Uh, I am definitely a um, that's the best way to put it. A polished version of myself here on YouTube. I can be quite a miserable git. <laughs> Bloop into the water. We need ten of those, so I'm quite happy to let that happen. Are they? Are they? Are they black roses there? I met them in real life. It's true. <laughs> I remember when when we met. A uh, uh, few people came up to me at the end of the day, and they were like, "You're really quite different." on your YouTube videos, aren't you? <laughs> 223 in the UK. Hi, Atia. I'm doing well, thank you. I hope you are. Um, I'm going to have to take that bone off or it's winding me up. Sorry, just give me a sec. <laughs> I took a I took a bone off it and I feel bad. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I've got a chew for it. I thought you'd like to see. I say hi. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Here she is. I'm gonna move the mic a little. Come on, come on, up, up. Good girl, good girl. There she is. There she is. <laughs> She's off now with the chew. <laughs> oh God. Oh, her nails are getting sharp. I love her. <laughs> oh. She's a big and she's a big old doggo. Is what she is. Oh, well, that's all point, my man. Either way, your honesty shines through. Hope you and your family are doing well. Good luck with your hair. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, I do try. The one thing I do try and do is be honest. Um, I know people get a little bit uh, fed up sometimes when I talk about the ins and outs of YouTube here, but you know, it's my job. I like to talk about it. And I always try and answer people when they when they ask questions about it. Because it's a bit different, right? I don't know what's going on. Right, we got some crappy apples, we can head back up. Boom, 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 boom. 
Jesus. You are not the first time I've seen your name tonight, buddy, because you were in a stream. Uh, you were watching a stream of somebody I was watching before, a guy called Scouse Mouse. I reckon like, he was chatting away to you while I was watching. He seemed like a nice guy. Uh, is that a beer I see? It is. It's uh, specifically a dead elephant from Railway City Brewery down the road in St. Thomas. Uh, 20 minutes drive from me. Travels travels short distances nicely. It's going down very well. I don't normally drink on stream. It's a nighttime stream, so I thought I'd have a couple. Um, yeah, so India's grown like a wild zombie bunny. <laughs> she weighs about three stone now. Uh, a bit late to the party. How are you? Hey, Bunny. Doing well, thank you. A little press today, sorry, he's got to be honest. During your stream earlier, I was in the bath, had a shave, cut that razor, and I finished uh, a bottle of whiskey. Oh, man. No, well, you know, I've said this before. I said this to you yesterday. We have good days and bad days. And all we can do on the bad days is think, well, tomorrow probably isn't going to be another one of them, is it? You know, just take it easy. Maybe get some rest. Sleep it off. Who have we got rid of? Nobody. I'm just. I'm, well, nobody at the minute. I'm just moving Limburg, who's going to become Camo Frog. Um, we get a glass of wine and join you. Cheers. Hey, Plurk. Uh, I feel like honesty, wit, and occasional sassy sarcasm to some of the not so nice members of chat shines through. Uh, it's what I enjoy. I have a good chuckle. Thank you, Jenna. Uh, tomorrow, I bought the digital copy of Animal Crossing. If I bought the hard copy, would it transfer? I have no idea. I really have no idea. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry, tomorrow. I, just, I, I honestly don't know how it works. I know that like it's one switch, one card. But as far as the digital version is concerned, I, I honestly don't know. Sorry. How many pounds of stone one? Sorry, fourteen pounds. <laughs> Could have told you that. Um, no. Oh, twelve pounds. Oh Christ! How many pounds of stone? It's twelve or fourteen. <laughs> uh, lab tech and histology so I process tissue samples including whole organ systems sometimes wow I, I'm assuming a conversation I've missed has got onto that because that's a, a random thing to come out for 14 thank you yeah no it's not 21 no it's 14 or 12 I, I just got it in my head I couldn't remember which 14 pounds yeah 14 pounds in a stone uh going to become a frog i know right sorry <laughs> uh this line across and i've been using a multiple switch systems of mine right okay and it and it's different save file well obviously different save files that's interesting someone in the chat asked me oh okay Eden, sorry um can we buy the europe digital code or is there a region restriction so i don't know but uh, one thing I will say is that the only other time I've used a code on the Switch, I use Instant Gaming all the time uh, for Steam. But the only other thing I've got on a Switch... Oh, no, actually, so it wasn't Instant Gaming. The only other digital thing I've got on the um, on the Switch was Two Point Hospital, which was a developer code that they sent me for the console version. Now, they only had European codes available, and all I had to do was change my profile to European, go and buy it, go and use the code, change it back to North America, and, it, and, it was, and it's worked fine. So, if you want to take that as a, as a test, but I honestly don't know. Can't use the same file, I have different islands. Right, okay. So, that you've got different islands on each device. You just got away with buying one copy. That's good. An Arj measurement. It, it's one of them old crappy uh, imperial measurements, isn't it? I'm, I don't like using them, to be honest, but weight is one of the few times I do still use it. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. I was in ties coming in kind of a big way. I don't, I don't care who knows it. I really liked high school musical. I was working kids parties and it was very popular with kids. 
So I knew all the dance moves and everything. It's true. My favorite song was actually uh, it was actually it was it wasn't even in the song in, even in the film I don't think it was a bonus track on the CD, and it was a song all about the Huna Huna Nuka Nuka Wapa Wapa, which is the uh, I think it's I think it's the fish of of Barbados or something like that. The High School Musical, the musical. I haven't watched it yet, you know. I, I don't know if I can remember it now, you know. I was just trying to do it in my head then, and I don't think I can remember it anymore. I haven't seen it, actually. Would you, would you recommend it? I have Disney+. Plus, But I've... Um, isn't, yeah, it isn't the sort of thing I've, uh, I thought I'd like. Hawaii, thank you. Uh, I'm surprised you could say it correctly. Why, why are you surprised? Um... That is just weird for him to ask your weight in general. No, no, there were... Wait, what? Have, we, have I missed something again? <laughs> Didn't think I'd like it, but I liked it. It's like a weird... Okay, I might give it a go. The very cliche high school stuff. Mm, yeah, and maybe it's not for me. I don't know. I, I'll, give it, I'll give it a try. I'm looking for stuff to watch at the minute. Everyone's on about that Tiger King, and I've got no interest in that. How many people faint? Faint doing what? I always, I always faint when I have blood taken. Like every single time. Can't help it. Not scared at all. We'll sit there and watch the needle go in. No problems with it. But like 30 seconds later, poof, gone. Just, I don't know what it is. Honestly, they could take a thimble. They could take a thimble and I'm out. I'm out like a light. I hate it because it doesn't. I'm not scared. I'm not anxious. Shut up, Siri. Sorry, I can't do that. You're not listening to the music app. Weird. I watched Tiger King. Yeah, I just don't think it's my kind of thing. I'm not really into those like weird like documentary, you know, who murder, who done it type things. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I, I know what I have got uh, to watch. New season of Brooklyn um, Nine-Nine has just come on um, Netflix here in Canada. So I've got that to watch. I watched the first one yesterday. It was pretty good. Tiger was okay. Have you watched Shit's Creek? Yeah, I'm up to date with Shit's I really enjoyed Shit's Creek, actually. Bit of a slow burn of that one, but I really did like it in the end. Nine-Nine? Um... So I've got, uh, the last series is on now, I think, on cable. So as soon as that comes to Netflix, like, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'll watch that. So I really enjoyed uh, She's Great, yeah. Um, Tiger King is amazing, but yeah, just, yeah. Nah. <laughs> I can't start watching it. Yeah, I just, I'm not, not into that thing at all, that reality just yeah doesn't interest me at all would you have finished it oh who knows god you uh, people come out the most random references to stuff from years ago i don't know if i'd have finished geektopia i don't know um are you canadian or british i'm british but i live in canada idea of having a little a little trickle of a waterfall that comes down to join that one but then this isn't a pond anymore is it glosses over the animal view yeah that's what i've heard yeah there's very little actually talk of the thingies i like you you know that but honestly tiger king is 100 percent worth a try if i've got a free night oh yeah new series of afterlife as well i, I quite enjoyed the first series of that yeah i'll give that a go I like Ricky Gervais. Um, I prefer his stand-up to his... Uh... This isn't a pond, look. This is a river. Oi. We're going to we're gonna have to take some of these flowers out, aren't we?
Oh, that is so pretty. I know it's lovely, isn't it? But the best, the best time is like sunset. It, the place looks so good at sunset. It really does. Uh, John Favreau just understands what to do with the universe. I mean, is that Mandalorian we're on about? I missed that, but yeah, I, I'm a huge John Favreau fan, to be honest. Thought Mandalorian was fantastic. I think Mandalorian was possibly the best Star Wars we've had since Star Wars. In all honesty. Okay, so that that's now pond. No, that's still river there. Look. No, that's pond now. I hate Star Wars with a passion. What a weird thing to hate with a passion. I don't know if it's a river or a pond. So if you actually look at the water, like see like the little these little lines here, they're just kind of going that's pond but sometimes they actually flow like that's flow like the water's flowing there can you can you settle let me stand here like this here this water is flowing because of how wide it is so we're, we're getting way too big here with this this has got it we've got to calm this down a bit let's take that corner in there I find Star Trek pretty horrendous to watch. Um, I, w I was a big fan of The Next Generation, but I think that was more to do with the fact that like we watched it as a family every week. Like it was always on uh, like like Beauty Two at like six or something. Um, but it's fine, and a couple of the newer movies aren't so bad. I quite like Simon Pegg. Right. That's pond now. No, no, it's not. Look, that's still. Or is it? Yeah, no, that's a pond now. Okay. So the easiest way to figure that out, to be honest with you, is go and get some fish bait and throw some fish bait in and see what spawns. Kawatha Lakes and Bush Kong Brewery. Oh, I'll have a look. Do they, do they sell at the beer store? Because that's, that's where I get my beer from. <laughs> Say it again. Bosch Kung. Let's have a look. Bosch Kung. Yeah. Bosch Kung Brew. They've got a cream ale. Craft. Nice. Okay, yeah, I'll take them out. Thank you. Always looking for recommendation. Um, you just check the bobber. If it has water floating away, it's a river. It's, so it's part of, that's, a, that's a really great suggestion. That's a perfect suggestion, in fact. Let us, let us examine. That looks like a pond to me. Good stuff. So we have a pond up here now. How does it look on the map? Yep, yeah, fine. Okay. So, I know this is like a bit funky here, having the river and the pond separate, but I really wanted a pond up here. Bell's Brewery. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't ring a bell. Must away. It's rather late. Love you, dude. Cheers, George. Have a good night, mate. Um, that might be a good record, John T. If you've not seen it, Taskmaster. Oh, T Taskmaster is one of my favourite shows of all time. I, Taskmaster is the thing that I tell people here to watch. Um, Taskmaster's um, 
uh, YouTube channel is fantastic. They've been uploading all the old episodes. They're up to like series five at the moment, just uploading them free of charge to watch on YouTube. Uh, but then also they've been doing um, uh, the white thing on the thumbnail is Wisp. But that, that's my standard nighttime thumbnail, but the Wisp isn't here today, unfortunately. Um, uh, yeah, they've been doing um, the home tasking yeah, on, on YouTube. So basically Alex comes on and gives a task for people to try at home. Um, and then um, they're really good. Like things like like make your bathroom into a good night out and stuff. <laughs> they're really, really really good fun. Um, opinions on Sheldon. Just ran into him on an island. Uh, Sheldon. I'm gonna have to have a look. Shit, it doesn't ring a bell. I'm not very good with the names of them. I I, I normally know them when I see when I see them. Oh yeah, he's a squirrel. I don't know the squirrels very well. He's a jock, so I like. I'm just not a massive fan of the jocks. I think, um, like the good, like the good squirrels are um, Marshall. Um, like like Marshall's like number one, I reckon, of squirrels. He's quite high up there, just in general. And what's the other cute little one? Um, I think Blair's quite cute. She's normal. Uh, Hazel. No, they did something weird with what Hazel looked like. Poppy. Poppy's the other awesome one. Poppy's adorable. Yeah, Sheldon is a jock. I'd, I'd, I'd swing him. I, I'm not a huge fan of jocks, to be honest. They're a bit dull. Poppy's adorable. Pecan. No. Static. 75% of jobs where my boyfriend gets attached to them and won't let them move them away to get some priority. We had I don't think we have any jocks now. Let me let me let me have a look at the map. Uh so Norma is just Norma's either normal or Uchi. I can't really tell the difference. Limburg's just a prick. Uh Deidre's Uchi. Sherb's lazy. But he's like really cute lazy. Nox is grumpy, cranky. Rhonda I don't know. Truffles is um I think it's Peppy or maybe Snooty. Can't remember. Um Flora's Peppy. Audie's Peppy, but she's basically a jock. And Jacques is I don't know what Jacques is actually. Truffles is Peppy, is she? We have Sherb and Deidre too. Yeah, ha very happy with Sherb and Deidre. Deidre could, like, I think I'd rather Fauna over Deidre, but uh, but Deidre's fine. Yeah, your eye looks fancy. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're getting somewhere with it. We're really starting to. We use water a lot, as you can probably tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Happy with that. We'll flower that up once those once those things have cleared off at the top. Okay. Right. So what I do need to do is go and get. So what time is it? Oh, the shop's still open. Nice. I need some cedar plantlings. Yeah, that would be really neat. Even if it's like some different shades. But it does just start to all look like a big wash, doesn't it? Flora and Fauna as well would obviously be really cool, yeah. What do you think will go with the Spargo? I really don't know. Really don't know. Had no inspiration yet. But you know what? This is a marathon, not a sprint, isn't it? They branched out the personality side. She's basically a jock, even though I dislike the jocks as well. Yeah, th I suppose there is that, yeah. Can you go fishing on the game? You sure can. Um, uh, No, I want to buy, don't I? I don't want to talk to you. Anyone end up moving out? So we've got um, we've got Camo Frog coming to live in the swamp, but um, Ruins is a good idea, actually, yeah. Um. I don't know, there's not many ruiny pieces though, I don't know. It'd be quite difficult to kind of replicate. <sighs> Give me ten. 
Floorboards are a custom texture, yeah. Poor man's hypnotoad. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a bit of a hypnotoad to him. I got Fauna moving in tomorrow. I found her amiibo card after I placed her in a fuzzy post surgery thing. Ah, oh, she's awesome. Could they have a biggest farmer's market? Well, we I, the whole area, all of this area is going to be like a farmer's slash bazaar. Farmer's market slash bazaar eventually once we get round to that. Um so I don't know I'm thinking like it could be a it could be a property because we, we're still looking at a place for a, a one residence I think so we could move a resident over here oh, missing stars look they normally come in twos there we go miss one you get another one garden store yeah garden gardening stuff could be cool I mean, the other thing is as well, there's a possibility of new stores opening in the future, right? Like, there's a possibility of spending enough money with Leaf that he goes, oh, I'll move in, you know? So part of me wonders whether that sort of space there can be just earmarked for more development in the future, you know? I'm pressing A. There's somewhere about Isabel talking about what's more is it, is it, uh, Leaf having a permanent place. Yeah. I have no space for more stores. That's uh, the problem, right? It's starting to feel like the island's too small. Not really, no. I mean, if you look at the map there. Like, we've really overdeveloped a lot of spaces here that don't need to be. Like, this whole area with this farm in the corner here, with it's got the two... Like, that could be a lot smaller. The swamp could be smaller. Flora's area. Flo that whole top corner there, like, B, 5, and 6, are all just for one character, you know? It is the kind of spot you would get a fair, yeah. Maybe a travelling fair is the kind of spot you'd get one. And then we can look at, look at Game Pietro as well. Flora's awesome though. She is awesome. She deserves it, of course. She's an absolute doll. But 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 really, like a lot of that space has been sort of spread out there, you know. Um Yeah. Stone walls in broken squares look like ancient building with some hedge walls mixed in to make it look overgrown. Uh, well, broken up dirt, cobble pathing at the moment. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, stone walls just like like corners of them. Cobbles. There's a there's a stone well, isn't there? And then there's probably a few items that could go. Is Flora stuck? Um I don't she can't jump, but she can teleport. So she does hang around in the in the in the square sometimes as well. You could combine Nicholas. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Nicholas tent doesn't even have to be there, really. We put it in because there's a there's a dead space there, but a lot of that area is uh, is kind of dead space, really. Water and cliffs make a huge difference, but I don't know. I'm not still very much like that area where Sherb's house is. I can't feel like I need to do something for Sherb, and I don't know what it is yet. I don't know what his thing could be, you know. to keep thinking this museum i'm going off it the more i look at it <laughs> uh this area here i want i want like hedges i want some more hedges going on some ruins yeah the problem is with the ruins is they couldn't be right behind residence hall could they but i, I think maybe this is a this uh a, a, the fair if we do a fair it could go here teacup ride and candy floss and all that kind of thing you know Sherb likes watering flowers, you can have a big garden. Yeah. Beehives and ant farms. Yeah, the pro that's the problem is we've got the we've got the farm itself. 
I mean, we could always move the apiary into Sherb space and have him as a beekeeper. You know? But if you look, we've got the farm here. I actually think the apiary works pretty well here where it is. And then we've got all of this space is all just working. Like, this is all just dead space, right? That's all. That could just be for Sherb if it wanted to be. Because what I was originally going to do was just give each village a little plot like this. But that's what everyone does. And it's really boring and samey. We could we could make him a gardener, a breeder. This house doesn't look very gardeny though, does it? See this really, I mean all this space here with these trees, this is all dead room as well. Cafe could go. Wouldn't wouldn't fuss me. That apiary is one of my favourites on the island. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Don't really want to do anything with it to be honest. Sherb needs to be protected at all costs too, right? And then this area from like there across to here is going to become the bazaar. I don't know, Sherb, would he? Does Sherb fit that theme? I'm not sure he does. I, I want I want Pietro for a for a carnival. And I'm thinking this would that would be a perfect spot for him as well. Like from like from here. All of this space here. And across. Playground, yeah. Hedge maze is a good idea. Garden. So I suppose he could be just a gardener, yeah. And we go for more like veg veg type stuff in the farm, but flowers in, in the sherbs, you know. But, um, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough to find stuff that works. He's been going on it, isn't he? If there was a gardener, maybe you could do... You'd have to do less watering. <laughs> well, you can't really make him a gardener. But I suppose if we put the flowers by his house, he would do more with them. I don't know. Reflector. Oh. Weird. Sherbs, herbs. I like it. Share a pic of my ruins in the Discord. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, see that's good, isn't it? And that well, that was the well I was thinking of as well. Yeah, I like the just the single places of, of hedges to kind of make it look like there's vines grown grown over the the uh, stones. Yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it? I'll, I'll, I'll keep thinking. The hedges are great. Yeah. Swamp look great. I'm really happy with the swamp. I think that area's come out great. It looks like a swamp. You know, it's got water trickling through it. It's got sort of broken up, you know, some stone. We need, we need a few more mossy stones and some of the flowers have got to come in. But overall, I think that the swamp is top. And it will carry on up as well. The swamp will be like, all of this area is going to be swamp as well. But we're going to have some seating in it. This house won't be here, and then it'll it'll ease out of the, oh I missed that the swamp there. It'll ease out of the swamp as we come up to our house. See, the, that's the other thing as well is I'm 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 not convinced whether this is the best spot for our house anymore. <laughs> Natural ramps extension would occupy that space. This is true. We've run out of, we've run out of ramps though. We've got all eight ramps, so we can't do any more ramps. Fairy spring like Les Zelda show can be the only can be the fairy in the middle. <laughs> Some of those giant mushrooms. Where would you move it to? So I would move my house uh, to where we've kind of got this like little Zen shrine thing that isn't really doing anything. Here. I would move my house to past the jungle. Up here. Because this is a lot of dead space here for not really much going on, right? There's a ramp limit. Yeah, eight ramps, eight bridges. You're allowed. So I'm tempted to kind of bring the jungle up to here and have, and have the jungle house, yeah? 
um, which then opens up that space where my house is for something like Sherb's mountainous ruins or something, maybe. All of this space here, we've got like crappy swimming pool and stuff at the minute. That's no good, is it? Yeah. Why is there a ramp limit? If you put the bunny day balloons outside of the jungle, you could live up the up vibe. That's a good idea. <laughs> I like the way that sounds. Okay. All right. We could maybe go for that then, I think. And then this area here, we could do... I don't know, I don't know if there's much stuff in the game to create, like, a garden. A gardening person that isn't just more farm, you know? Go for a tiki bar area. Yeah, maybe. Like, treat it more like a hot tub. Jungle house sounds better. Okay. Well, we can't move anything today because we've moved uh, Limburgs. But what we can do is make the house look jungly. We can do a... Um, we can do a thing with Tom, one of the... Uh, what do they call it? I, house change thing. Maybe not. Should, yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't. The Sherb, Sherb and farm just doesn't sit right with me. I don't know why. I, I think the, out of all the options, like mountain, mountainy, mountain goat is the way I think I want to push for Sherb. Do do do. Hello, hello. About my home. Oh, I feel like I need to really crack my back. Wooden buckets, hand cart, garden faucet, hose. Yeah. But it's the sort of stuff that you'd have in the farm though as well, isn't it? Is there some kind of site with custom patterns? Uh, just like Googling it. AC, hey, ACNH Designs comes up with quite a few. A lot of Twitter stuff, a lot of... Um, what's the rubbish one? Pinterest. <laughs> uh, are, you on about the, are you on about your letterbox? Yeah, you can just pick it up and move it, yeah. Make an extended beach area somewhere. I do want to... Um, I do want I do want to make a tiki bar on the beach at some point. I want to customize. Pinterest exactly. Loving Pinterest at the moment, but yeah, no, it's not for me. I don't think <laughs> it's useful, but it's not the sort of thing I look at unless I'm working on something specific. Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, so what have we got that's jungle-ish? So we've got we've got thatch that we're already on. And I, I imagine that's probably gonna be the best option. There's tile. So there's regular tile, there's like um stucco tile, there's slate. And then there's thatch. So I'm, I'm going to say thatch is the one, right? Is in the love stream. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's great for projects. Yeah, but it's a, but I, I, like it's not like see I can look at Reddit every day, right? Gray thatch. Deep green thatch. That's not a bad one, is it? Fresh grass. That looks a bit too bright for me. I'm thinking deep green. Yeah, deep green thatch looks like 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 leaves. Then you know, Reddit. I could live on Reddit. It's ridiculous. Um, 
deep green. Okay, so that's that then. Now the siding options, we've got the basic one. There's the chalet one. There's the stony one. Um, stucco. Okay, I'm going to... I think I'm going to write off the stucco. S stone. Okay, so stone then. We've got cobblestone. Chic cobblestone. What makes it chic? I don't know. Brown cobblestone. Uh, it's not going to be one of these bright colours, is it? So there's the grey is quite nice. There's a green one, but I don't think that really goes. So I'm thinking either oh, brown or grey. Probably brown. Is green an okay colour for colour blindness? That 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 green roof there could be brown to me. Honestly. Grey, grey, grey's nice. Grey looks great. Okay, we're all saying grey. Grey, in my opinion. Brown is nicer, but they're both a bit muted. Grey, brown, grey, grey, brown. Brown looks like a tree trunk. Grey, brown. Oh, it's starting to become a bit more neck and neck. Grey skulls, no grey. I think stone is the only one that fits the jungle vibe. My vote is grey. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree. I think Sheik's a bit too bright. Grey, I'm happy with. Okay, door. Grey has a nice roof trim as well. Okay, cool. So, doors then. We've got loads of doors options so there's the very basic wooden door which isn't awful actually but the thing you're saying that brown is jungly what you've got to think about is is what not necessarily just the color of it but the, the sort of the context of the material so like like brown what what is that whereas that whereas the stone is obviously like they found stones and they put like clay on the wall or something you know um so it needs to be wooden door but there are a few different types of wooden door okay so there's this wooden door there's then a wooden door with a window which i don't think is right for this there's that one that's a bit too posh that's too posh that's too posh that's no good that looks like a like a ship uh lattice work door no zen door no 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 metal accent door so rustic so for me it's i it's either the rustic one or just the plain one newbie here welcome blue gem how's it going sims gamer oh nice well there's there's, there's some crossover here with sims i think maple Gotta be rustic. Maple. Rustic maple. Can you click the green one? Green rustic. See, green, green goes with the bills, right? I can see that. But there's no such thing as green wood, wood right? So, can we? Are we okay with green being like being painted? Black, no, I don't like black. It's the wrong green. Rustic with brown stony. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right. Green. Light green. There isn't a light green one. Oh, light green, sorry. Oh, no, I don't like that. Was there, was there a grey one? This one black. Are we saying that looks alright? <laughs> I think it needs to be a natural wood. I think the maple's too yellowy. And I think the rustic door's too white. So the other options is that one with some metal on it. But again, it seems to be too yellowy. Like you'd really think they would kind of match them up a little bit more, wouldn't you? Maple adds some warmth, yeah. Wooden door. I'll be honest with you, that, that one there is jumping out at me the most, to be honest. Just dead plain wooden door. Try rustic as the base colour with brown stone. So rustic. 
with brown cobblestone. That one. The door and the walls look nice together. I still like the plain rust. It gives a good contrast so everything isn't so dark. Brittany likes that. Lauren says that looks nice. Ludacris says it's too monotone. I like that. It looks less jungly. Yeah, see that? It's not got a jungle. That looks more like rustic farm, doesn't it? Falling asleep. <laughs> good. I hope that was meant to be good night. Melissa, good night. <laughs> looks a bit desaturated. Dark brown metal accent looks naturally. Dark brown metal accent. I can't believe this is taking so long. Uh... That one, brown. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that, how it's different different shades. Can we try that with the grey? Oh. See, I, that looks good to me. I like that one. That's the one. Oh, oh. That's that. Yes, yes. Okay. Right. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. Mailbox. <laughs> now... Well done, whoever that was. Who, who was it who said that? Let's have a look. Let's give them the credit. Uh, um, dark brown metal accent. Looks like Virginia. The dark brown metal accent with grey walls again. Uh, Sisu. Sisu and Virginia both suggested that. Well done. Thank you. A few of you said it. Ooh, I love it. The chat just went, ooh, yes. <laughs> now... Letterbox. I, I tried the bigger letterbox. I don't like it. I don't like the metal ones. I think it's going to have to be a wooden one because that kind of, again, it's fitting the theme, right? <laughs> 3 a.m. and I'm so invested in a <laughs> pretend house. Watching from bed. Switches downstairs. Can we just pretend I sent you a creepy doll? We'll pretend, Tom. Go, mate, go to bed. <laughs> okay, so we've got wooden mailbox, white, red, green. Chic? What's chic? Is that just like a dark brown? If that's a dark brown, I'll go for that one. Yeah, is it just is it just a dark brown? I'm just I just want to check it's not something specific. Because there's that original one as well, but I don't I think we need to go for something a bit different, yeah. Chic matches the door. Nice. Curtains. Can we change the curtains? I oh, know we could just open and shut them. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Oh, look at that. When do the when do the curtains open and shut? Do we do that or do we have to pick now? I'm thinking open anyway. Cool. Confirm. Go. But Rusty does look like a birdhouse. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. When do you get this much house customization? I think I think eight, one of those little window like walls, doors, etc. I think one of those opens each time. Um, one of those opens each time when um, when you upgrade a, when you upgrade something. So like each time you pay off a, a thing, you, you get a, you get an extra thing like that. Somebody was saying that my voice doesn't make them sleepy. Okay, hold on. Where's the game? Try this a sec, all right? Thank you for joining me on this beautiful evening for a gentle wonder along the lakeside. During the day, these lakes are filled with families having picnics, rowing boats across the water, and feeding the many birds who call these lakes home. But tonight, as the moonlight ripples on the water, it's quiet and peaceful, and we are the only ones here. Except for the birds, of course. This is one of my favourite places to just relax, unwind, 
and enjoy the calming sound of the water lapping in the gentle breeze. It's a great place to come to forget about the stress and worries of the day and find some inner peace. There are some wonderful sights to explore around here, but before we begin, let's take a moment to relax the mind and get ready for sleep. How's that sound? <laughs> so there's that many people been um, been mentioning to me that that I send them to sleep. <laughs> that we're gonna we're trying we're 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 trying the idea of doing some sleep meditation. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's just a, an idea. And it won't be on geekism, of course. <laughs> and it's not for everybody. But I absolutely adore guided meditation. I use it all the time to fall asleep. Um, I feel like I missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird thing to come into. <laughs> I fall asleep to stream every night. There you go. See, it's working without me even trying, right? <laughs> There's free meditation. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepism. No, not that's a good though. <laughs> Here we go. It's not ASMR. That's, that's that's a weird sex thing that nobody will admit is a weird sex thing, but it is. <laughs> Awesome idea, sleepism. I like it. No, it's got a name and it's going to be completely separate from geekism. But um, yeah, it's something we're working on. It's had to go on the back burner a little bit because um, uh, a lot of other things. <laughs> ASMR is definitely not a weird sex thing. It is. <laughs> like, there are people who don't use it for that, but it's, it is. It, but that's what it's for. <laughs> Some people make it a weird sex thing. No, 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 no. It is a weird sex thing that some people make it not a weird sex thing. <laughs> yes, of course we will, Nicole, yeah. Yeah, no, it is, it is going to be a thing, but um, but yeah. There must be people... Well, there are people who nut to everything, right? I mean, anything's porn if you try hard enough, right? <laughs> uh, we bought country before, didn't we? Yeah, we don't need that again. Do, do, do. I, I'm uh, please. I'm only joking regarding the ASMR thing, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, rule thirty-four exactly. Rule thirty-four. If it exists, there is porn of it. Um, yeah, there we go. Call it rule thirty-four. <laughs> I think rule thirty-four specifically is if it exists, there is porn of it. I think it's slightly different to everything's porn if you try hard enough. Play some cash in. Yeah, it, I I'm not a huge fan of like full on sort of whispery ASMR. Um, but I do, but I like I like guided meditation. I use guided meditation a lot. I'm a big fan of um, um, uh, Headspace is the one I use. Um. But calm is good as well. Because it's those furry porn of it. Wow. <laughs> you know your art has made it when somebody makes porn out of it. That's a great way of looking at it. Yeah, it's like it's well, it's fan art, right? It's fan art. Did we buy those shrubs? Yeah, the saplings. Let's go and put those in then before we finish. I've heard of Headspace. I, I use it most nights. I fall asleep to a Headspace. I do. Uh, some are better than others, and there's a few different voices, and you'll find the voice that you prefer. Um, there's like an old American guy. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, do you have the upgraded version? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I don't think we should... But yeah, we do. Because Nicola got it as part of a St. John membership back in the UK. And, like, but she's not in St. John in the UK anymore. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it's signed me out. Do you know what? I was just thinking, because I haven't used it for the last couple of weeks. I was just thinking, I bet it's signed me out. Um, let, me, let me try and log it in, just in case. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no, it's it's working again. Okay, cool. So sleep. Sleep casts are the ones I use. Midlight laundrette, laundrette is really good. Rainy day antiques is really good. Um, the best one. If I can find it, there's a really good. But midlight laundrette. Let's see if it's the guy I know. The older, the older American dude. Thanks for joining us for this evening's trip to the Midnight Laundrette. We're going to help you to just rinse away the worries of the day, creating the ideal conditions for a healthy, restful sleep. Each night, we like to start with a short wind down. It's particularly helpful if you're troubled by a busy mind when you're trying to get to sleep. You can even use it if you wake up in the night. You hear that? <laughs> We're going to be counting our breaths and then just gently noting thoughts and feelings if they arise. Joe, you know, honestly, I I don't think I've ever heard the end of that. <laughs> Genuine, like the the end of that could be like a zomb zombie apocalypse. That serial of it? No, for me, that is just like. But like I said, there's about four or five decent voices. You find one that you're happy with. A lot of people prefer the female voices. That guy's voice. Jeez, I'm I'm honestly, I've never never heard the end of it. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so we're going to plant some of these uh, trees, and I want them—I want them all close, mm -hmm. so that they'll grow, but look, look close together. So there could go one. <sighs> See, so the problem with this water is we've very quickly run out of. Uh, Woodlandy, woodland walk space, you know. Motivation one, I'll loop very loudly. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I have three stars. Oh, nice, Jenny. Well done. James Earl Jones reading The Raven. That gets me off. That's a good one. I imagine he's got a good voice for it, yeah. ASMR, not for me, but yeah. Carl's Beauty Usus did it. It's half times whispering with you. That's porn. Yeah. <laughs> Horror voice and meditation voice are scarily similar. It's quiet, low, right? Just the horror one. It's the, it's the context of what they're talking about, right? How get red. Um, to start the red process, you have to speak to Blathers. Oh, that's... That I knew there was another requisite. Sorry for getting excited. I knew there was another prerequisite for red, um, and somebody was saying about it earlier. I forgot to mention it. You need to have donated sixty things to the museum, then speak to Blathers. Sunburn. <laughs> yeah. What's it? What's red with there? What was it? What's black and white? What's red and black and white? Was it? What's red? What is it? What's the fucking? It, what's black, red, and no. <laughs> I have one beer. What's well, black and white and red all over? No, Stuart Stephen Fry is a good voice. Yeah. Um. Who was the other one that I listened to that was really good? Oh no, it was it was Stephen Fry. So Stephen Fry, I think it's on YouTube actually. Let me see if I can find the link. If you like Stephen Fry's voice and you would like to try a guided meditation, he does a really good one that's available on YouTube. Just make sure you've got your autoplay turned off so that. What's up, guys? Doesn't come on next. Um, it's called something like Blue Gold. Yeah, here you go. This is really good. I've never got to the end of this either. Sleep story. We travel to the south of France. I'm Stephen Fry, and I'll be your guide as we meander 
lazily through the lavender fields and sleepy villages of Provence. The story was written by Phoebe Smith and is called Blue Gold. You'll smell it before you even see it. That unmistakable aroma that fills your nose and seeps into your senses. Oh, I'm going to stop it there because I don't want to get demonetized. But geez. I'm gone in 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, just answer you, Jenny. Are you trying to put us all to sleep? I know, right? <laughs> I, can listen to I can listen to Stephen Fry read the phone book. And I'd be happy about it. <laughs> I mostly notice these videos fall asleep. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's just uh, repetitive. Uh, repetitive sort of low impacts. Uh, so black, white, and red all over. N newspaper, sunburn, penguin. There was loads, wasn't there? Brian. Who's Brian? Is there, is there any possibility that you could trade with me or can anyone in the trade as well? Uh, we don't really do trades and stuff in the chat here. It gets a bit busy. Uh, but you can um, you can join the Discord. There's groups on the Discord for trades and stuff. Uh, Provence is my favourite place. I even have a lavender tattoo behind my ear. Oh, awesome. Obviously, you probably know that then. Have you heard that before? I love how Stephen Fry says Provence. <laughs> Gordon's alive. Yeah, can you imagine him doing one? Brian Blessed. <laughs> Get to sleep! <laughs> uh, no mods. No, no mods tonight. They're all off to bed. <laughs> um, but, uh, there's a great clip of Brian Blessed being a snooker commentator. Have you seen that? <laughs> Focus on your breathing! <laughs> There's a great, and it's like, it's like, can you genuinely be quiet and and do snooker commentating? Um, and he's like, oh yes, here we are now, <laughs> coming up, young fellow, and he and he misses, and he's like, oh, I could have farted that in. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Brian Blessed's not good for your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love Brian Blessed. Bless him. Right, I think I'm going to start finishing up then, folks. I've actually made a live stream. Oh, sorry, Ash. <laughs> uh, what if Chris... What? what? <laughs> uh, quith, quith your bank. Quith your bank. Used to talk like this. I say this, he's still going, isn't he? I'm all right, yeah, I just had a little cough. <laughs> check your mail first. Sorry. I'll do as I'm told. And check my mail. Uh, Geek some drunk. Not even close, mate. I've only had one beer. I just had a little giggle, that's all. Ah. Uh, but the ruin. Oh, we're doing ruins then, are we? Is that, is that decided? <laughs> Thanks for the late streams. No, I know. It's really great that I get to uh, chat with some of you folks from down under and, and uh, get to talk to you. Sphinx. Oh, wow. Look at that. Let me put it somewhere I can... We're running out of space to actually like put stuff down and look at it. That's the problem. Let's head over here. Geekism needs some sleepism. Yeah, I'm gonna take the dog around the block. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not because Zama's in bed and Nicola's not even here. Um, I'm not gonna take the dog around the block. She's been out this morning. I'm gonna wash up. That's awesome, isn't it? Look at that. I'm gonna feed the cats. I'll leave that there for now. And I'm gonna go to bed. It's had to engage live, especially on the weekends. I can chat. Awesome. I did, thank you, do you know what? I forgot to mention the can of flowers. I actually had two people send them me, so I'm not mentioning whose it is that's on there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they look really quite cute, and that's good for our Earth Day thing as well. Appreciate the Antipodean stream, uh, shout out in the stream as well. There we go, so we've got our little cans. That's our Earth Day 
item there because it's made with weeds and uh, they it's all about weeds for the hedges. Studio wall spotlight. What does that look like? Oh, it goes on a wall. Never mind. Um, right. Have a good night, folks. Uh, go get yourself some rest. We'll be back 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, regular time for the stream. Sunday afternoon. So, what will we be doing Sunday afternoon? I tell you what, because we haven't done it for a while. We'll we'll do a because and I've not really got much to build at the moment. Um, we'll um, we'll do some visiting. So if you want us to come and have a look at your islands, we'll we'll come and visit a few guest islands, uh, a few a few fan islands. Right, uh, love you all to bits. Stay safe. Be good. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.